Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to uh, create another network, a simple network which is uh, going to have three departments, the IT, HR and finance department and we are going to divide each department into different VLANs and they are, we are going to connect all of them with the help of a switch and a router and uh, we are going to do this configuration by using a simple topology to explain to you that how you can use DHCP and VLANs together and it is just a basic scenario to give more understanding into connecting different type of networks using VLANs and DHCPs so if you want to watch my previous videos on subnetting DHCP and uh, the basic VLAN configuration I'll give the link um, in the bottom in the description box and uh, we are simply now going to start and um, as you can see at the bottom we have so many devices available so we simply need a router at first and then we would need a switch and we are going to create three different departments the IT department and I'm simply going to add PCs to different departments so from network devices we are simply um, going to select our router um, and the router we have selected is 2911 we are simply going to drag and drop uh, to our working area then from the switch we are going to select this first one 2960 switch and we are going to drag and drop it to our working area again so after that that's uh, go to devices and we are going to select some devices you can select generic um, these uh, PCs or laptops so I'm going to connect uh, these devices with the switch so the first three devices would be part of our uh, first VLAN and the first department which is IT department then the other PCs this first one first three department IT department then I'm going to create um, uh, these uh, uh, the other network which is HR these three PCs are part of HR the next three pieces that I'm connecting uh, these are going to be a uh, part of our uh, third department that would be the finance department and the first would be VLAN 10 and the second network would which is HR would be VLAN 20 and finally the finance department would be part of VLAN 30 so let's connect these to our switch and eventually connect our switch to the router so for connecting with the switch we are going to select the first wireless connection from our PC to our switch switch just click it just click it once not double click click it once and then take it to our switch first connection is created go again to the connection choose the fir very first one um, connection and then connect it to our switch and finally we are going to connect all our networks our sub departments IT HR and finance to our switch one by one simply creating them using this very first connection from our connections and after they are connected, we are going to connect our switch with the router. So a uh, switch would provide connectivity between these pieces of uh, uh, IT, HR and finance departments individually. And to connect between these departments, IT, HR and finance, we need the router to perform routing between these interdepartments. So we have now connected our PCs. Now router is going to be connected with the switch and it is gigabit interface 0 slash 0. Our first few PC is connected to our interface 0 slash 1 the second to 0 slash 2 and the third to 0 slash 3 so FA 01 to 03 are part of our network IT VLAN 10 and then uh, moving forward uh, from interface 0 slash 4 5 and 6 they are going to be the part of our HR department that would form our VLAN 20 uh, you can see here 0 slash 4 5 and 6 they would be the part of our HR department and our VLAN 20 and then 7 8 9 would be the part of our finance department the interfaces of our switch that would connect our finance department the VLAN 30 to our switch so 7 8 9 are the interfaces of switch to our last network and finally um, FA 0 slash 10 of our switch it is connected to gigabit 0 slash 0 of our router here you can see all the connections to different switches from our switch 0 slash 10 to our gigabit router 0 slash 0 so we have basically formed the basic topology and uh, then uh, we are simply going to move on and start configuration uh, beginning with our switch okay so let's now go to our switch and we are going to do configuration here on our switch we are going to go to the cli press enter and we are we are going to enable the switch using uh, enable command then configure terminal once place 
space T and we are going to first um, configure our first interface which is interface um, interface uh, then F A 0 slash ok 1 dash 3 uh, if you remember uh, interface sorry interface space range we are going to configure multiple interfaces and if you remember the interface 0 slash 3 uh, 1 slash 3 fa 0 slash mm, this is just a moment fa this was the first interface fa 0 slash 1 2 and 3 so we are going to configure it um, let's go back to our switch now so 1, 2, 3, we are going to configure it, which was uh, for our first, very first department, VLAN 30, the IT department. We are going to press enter. When we press enter, uh, we are now going to switch. Uh, if you remember, we uh, have to enable access by uh, creating our uh, sub interfaces. And for that, switch port uh, mode access we have to turn the, on the access mode between the pcs and the switch uh, so we are going to give switch port mode access and then switch port access vlan in this way vlan 10 in this way we have created the first vlan interface access sorry switch port access we are giving the command switch port access vlan 10 so what we have uh, access vlan does not exist we are creating vlan 10 so we have created first vlan and it belongs to our first three interfaces from 1 to 3 which were part of our first uh, department now we are going to go and uh, configure again uh, we are going to simply exit and then we are going to give interface um, okay range now we are going to configure 456 456 what 456 was i'm going to tell you again let's go back this is fourth interface and this is five and finally this one is six interface so we are going to configure these three pieces to make them part of our vlan 20 so let's get, get back to our switch and here we are going to give a switch port right here switch port mode access we have turned on the access mode and then switch port access vlan 20 so we have made the other three pcs of our other department which was our hr department part of vlan 20 it has created vlan 20 and now we are going to exit let's now create our third vlan for that we are going to give uh, from 7 to 9 interface range which belongs to this 0 slash 7 and 8 and 0 slash 9 so let's go back here press enter then we are going to turn on the switch mode uh, port mode access and finally switch port access vlan 30 so we have created our vlans and then we are simply going to exit it now we are finally done with our vlans so what we are going to do we are going to create the trunk port if you remember the trunk port is to connect our switch to our router so for trunk port we are going to configure fa0 slash 10 so let's go back here and we will go to interface interface inter, interface fa0 slash 10 okay and we are going to enable switch switch port mode trunk that's it so in order to connect our switch to our router we have to enable this access port finally we are done with it and now let's move on further now I'm going to go to my router. Let's double click this router and inside our router we are going to maximize it. We are li and simply press uh, type no after no you are going to enable en then you are going to configure the terminal conf t and finally what we are going to do is we are going to uh, basically um, set up our interface gigabit 0 slash 0 and we are going to uh, open it or run it and start uh, working with it so we are going to go int uh, 
GA0 slash 0 okay GIG sorry GIG 0 slash 0 I think I have to give a space maybe yeah gigabit interface no shutdown means that it is the interface is going to be up and it will start running no shutdown now it is state is set to up now what we are going to do we are going to create the sub interfaces on our routers so that we can provide access to our vlan 10 20 and 30. so again what we are going to do is we are going to exit let's create our first interface int space gigabit 0 slash 0 dot 10 for our vlan 10. Space 10. Okay. So encapsulation space dot one q10. So I was giving VLAN, which was not part of the command. So we have to do encapsulation. And then we are going to assign the default gateway, which is going to be IP address space. For this first network, our IT network, we have given the gateway as 192.168.1.1. This is going to be the default gateway. And our subnet mask is going to be 255.255.255.192 okay that's it now we have configured our very first sub interface for vlan 10 and we have mentioned our default gateway at as 192.168.1.1 let's now exit and configure our second vlan uh, uh, for that purpose we are going to give the command um, int space gig 0 slash 0 dot 20 the sub interface for vlan 20 it is going to be set up then we are going to enable encapsulation by giving this command uh, dot 1 q space 20 for our vlan 20 and then we are going to give it a default gateway and that would be ip address of uh, let's see for this we are going to give 192.168.1 dot 65 and uh, the subnet mask is 255.255.255.192 so we have configured the second sub interface for vlan 20 now let's um just a moment we are going to exit okay fine let's exit go to our third interface that would be uh in space gig 0 slash 0 dot 30 for our vlan 30 the third sub interface and we are going to turn on encapsulation dot 1q 30 for our vlan 30 the third vlan finally we are going to assign the default gateway that would be 192.168.1.125 and its subnet mask would be 255.255.255.192 so when we have configured all of them and finally we have done the interfacing we have uh, connected our router to the switch and different interfaces of uh, our different three uh, departments finally we are going to configure our dhcp and for that we are going to give service service space dhcp excuse me service uh, space dhcp to enable dhcp then we are going um, to create the pool for our very uh, the ip pool that would be assigned to our very first network and that um, network was our it network um, so the first one is it then hr and finally our uh, finance network so let's start with uh, it so uh, ip space dhcp now we are creating the DHCP pool for our very first network space admin. Okay, so first one was it it dot pool. Okay, we have named it it dot pool. You can give it any name it dash pool or whatever. And then we are going to give uh, the network IDs, which is network network space. 192.168.1.0 and it's subnet wasp would be 192 okay so we have created a network pool and now we are going to give the default gateway by using the command um, 
by using the command network no no default dash router space now what we are going to give if we go above for the first one uh, we had given the command um, right here for our vlan 10 we gave the ip address of 192.168.1.10 so we are going to give the same gateway here router space 192.168.1.10 one this is for our vlan 10 so then we are going to enable the dns server with the help of dns dash server space again 192.168.1.1 press enter and now we are going to do the same thing let's assign dhcp pool to our next uh, department which was our hr department so again h just hr dot pool right so this is for our hr department and then we are going to give it network ids um, net4 okay 192.168.1.64 1.64 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.192 and um, the default gateway actually default dash router space 192.168.1.65 when set up, up VLAN 20 we gave this as default so we are going to use the same one and same we are going to do for dns dash server dns dash server and press enter now we are going to configure for similarly for our the last pool which was our finance pool finance fi uh, fi N -N -C -E, finance pool and we are going to give it um, the uh, network ids um, and for network we are going to give it 192.168.1.129 and its default gateway would be 255.255.255.192 we are going to press enter then we are going to give it the default gateway which is default dash router and it was given when we configured our server we gave um, the default gateway and uh, the default gateway was 129 so i'm simply going uh, to give it 129 the default gateway so let's give it 129 and then i'm going to press enter and then for dns server as well dns dash server 129 press enter so we have in this way configured all what we needed to do and uh, then uh, we are simply uh, going back to our uh, pcs uh, here are our pcs and for each pc i've already done it for each and every pc you are going to double click the pc configuration and in kip configuration instead of static i'm going to choose dhcp so i'm going to do this for each and every pc uh, double click it double clicking we'll go here to desktop IP configuration DHCP for each and every PC we are going to do and I am simply uh, going to check uh, a command prompt IP config press enter 192.168.1.2 let's come here One, let's ping 192.168.1.2 ping space 192.168 8.1.2 then press enter it is now going to ping be another pc so what we are doing is from vlan 20 we are trying to pin ping a pc which is part of um, vlan 10 so let's see how it turns out we are receiving the reply from 192.168.1.2 similarly we can check the configuration for other pcs as well and this is how we have created three vlans three different offices inside an organization and we have connected them using um, dhcp and the concept of submitting by assigning different types of uh, classes of ip addresses to different pcs i hope you found this video useful i'll see you next time until then bye